when someone got the hump over a camel. Some neighbors simply do not get along. Take, for instance, Bakar and Taglub tribes. Over a camel, they fought the Basis War for 40 years. It all started when the Taglub tribe's leader killed a camel that had strayed onto the tribe's land. Sadly, the camel belonged to the other tribe leader's wife. You might think it's a minor issue, but when pride and honor are at stake, things can quickly get heated. In retaliation, the Taglub leader was killed, and the two tribes immediately went to war. Realizing that things had perhaps gotten out of hand, the backer leader sent his son to negotiate a truce. He was killed by the Taglebs, since neither side trusted the other. The backer leader vowed vengeance, and the conflict continued for 40 years. War over a really nice golden stool. The British Empire once wanted the Ashanti Kingdom, which is now part of Ghana. In 1896, King Primpe refused to join the British Protectorate. Consequently, the British forcibly protected his kingdom. British sent a chinless yahoo, named Sir Fetter Mitchell Hodgson to colonize the Gold Coast. Unfortunately, for the British Hodgson was an idiot, and he rocked up the town and then demanded to sit on the really nice golden stool as a representative of the Queen. The stool was a spiritual object to the Ashanti and to suggest Hodgson's colonial buttocks should caress the embodiment of their people was so offensive that the war of golden stool kicked off on the spot. Ya Santua, the queen mother and gatekeeper of the golden stool, was captured after the war raged for six months. However, there was no trace of the stool. Before it was finally returned to its ceremonial home, it was kept from the British for many years. Some drunk douchebag. France occupied Sicily in 1282, which did not go over well with everyone on the island. Palermo's residents gathered for the Easter Vespers prayer meeting. The French and Sicilians kind of muddled along resentfully. Something took place in the town square at some point, though the specifics are hazy at this point. According to one version, a French soldier tried to drag a French woman out of the crowd when he was drunk. Another possibility is that French soldiers made the decision to search the crowd for weapons, using it as an opportunity to grope every woman there. The Sicilians didn't like whatever happened, and the fight at Vespers turned into a massacre of French people in Palermo. It then escalated into a full-blown war that demonstrated the infinite destructive power of every drunken douchebag. War of the Oaken Bucket During the 1320s, there was a lot of conflict between the neighboring towns of Bologna and Modena. There were a number of border skirmishes in which each side would raid a region, kill the people there, burn crops and fields, and then return to their own side. One day some Modenese soldiers sneaked into the center of Bologna, where a well and an oak bucket were positioned. The goods that the Bolognas were trying to hide from the invaders were all in the bucket. The Modenians took the bucket and its contents with them to Modena, displayed them next to their well. Bologna declared war on Modena. 2,000 men perished during this lengthy conflict, which Modena ultimately won. As a sign of their victory, the bucket was displayed in the Cathedral of Modena. Skirmishes continued for another 200 years. Everyone's doing it. No reason is the best reason to invade a country. Right? No but that's what Russia thought. In 1939 as the Second World War unfolded around the globe Russia invaded Finland. Russia seems to have invaded Finland because that's the sort of thing everyone was doing. Germany and Russia had just divided Poland between themselves so Russia was all invasion happy. And Finland was right there, just existing like a frozen cake waiting to be devoured. The rest of the world was equally perplexed by the invasion and kicked Russia out of the League of Nations. 